here I am steady obsessing over these G-Shock squares. So I had to purchase this model, which is the GW-S5600-1JF. There's all the um, info on the hang tag, the features of it. And I don't see the price on this one. I bought this one on Amazon. I think it was around $230, $230 US. A friend of mine, Jonathan, purchased one and basically, as soon as he received it instantly, was like head over heels over it. Like it was the best one that he's ever checked. So as soon as he posted that on the IWA group, I did the buy it now on the uh, Amazon thing and had it right away. I think I even paid extra to have it shipped next day because that's how I am. But the carbon fiber that's in this band is usually reserved for higher end model G-Shocks. So it's kind of cool that they put this on the square model and on the on the higher end G-Shocks, the larger models, you usually can't see it on the top side. It's usually a solid color. So this one you can see it on the top side. And on the bottom side, they put this really nice, smooth, soft texture to it. So when it's on your skin, like it's, this is really almost, I don't want to say the most comfortable one that I've had, but it, it's definitely up there. It has a titanium as well. The case back is titanium. I thought I heard somebody say that even the buttons are titanium. I haven't been able to confirm that, but I'll tell you what, the weight on this, it's pretty crazy. So for example... The economy square, the 5600E, whatever the model number is on this one, I think it's on the back. Yeah, the DW5600E. This weighs 54 grams with the strap, okay? And then I think I weighed, actually I weighed the, the screw case back one on the strap, so the 5000. This one weighs 74 grams. That's the half to that one. This guy with the carbon fiber and the titanium is only 45 grams. So it's it, it feels like nothing. I mean, it is crazy light. Here's the other thing I noticed too. The thickness on it, they made this one thinner. It's only like 11 and a half millimeters thick. And you can see I'm, I'm measuring to like this part here, not even to the glass. So like 11 and a half versus, you know, like the, the standard cheap, you know, $40, $50 one. You're talking, it's a millimeter thinner. So it's it's crazy light and it's thinner. I mean, it just disappears on wrist. Um, I was worried, you know, the shiny surface on some of these G-Shocks, they sometimes, I don't know, for me anyway, they, they seem like they don't feel as nice. But this one, I don't know, it just disappears. I'm, I'm very happy that I purchased this one. Then you have the uh, multi-band 6, so as long as it receives signal, your time's always going to be good. You got the tough solar with the power indicator. You know, you have your, all your other options. I forget what module this was in this. I don't know all my modules. This is the 31, uh, 3159 module, which I'm sure some of the other ones probably share that as well. So it's not it's not like some weird crazy module or anything, so... Um, but I just wanted to show this guy on camera that carbon fiber just looks cool too when the sun hits it. And then I noticed I, during the day I, I work outside and I wear like polarized glasses. And looking at this in the sun through the polarized glasses, it has almost like a rainbow effect too. It has uh, all the multicolored going on in it. And you can, I don't think I can really catch it without the polarized glasses. But that would be kind of cool if they, because this one isn't like new or anything. They've had this model out for a little while. It'd be kind of cool if they reintroduced it and then maybe did some different color in the carbon fiber because you can do carbon fiber in different colors. That would be kind of cool just to have it still in this, you know, the smoked uh, colored darker gloss, but, but then have the color in the carbon fiber inside. I think that would be pretty sweet. But, you know, G-Shock's always putting out, uh, you know, custom models, you know. So it'd be really nice to see this one come back. Um, tell you what, I'll toss it on my 
7 and the 8th inch wrist, so you can get a look at that. There's what I'm wearing. Toss this guy on. The strap is kind of long on this one. Not sure. You can see how it tabs up. You know, my wrist doesn't look crazy small or anything, but I wore this for a couple days as soon as I bought it. I had to actually like not like I had to purposely not wear it so I would actually wear some of these other watches I have in for review but I can easily see see myself wearing this uh, pretty regularly I mean this thing is perfect for like working and everything and then it is kind of nice having all the writing on the band and everything to it kind of gives it like a little sporty look I'm also a car guy too so like having all the carbon fiber you know that was big into the uh, car building era when I was building cars I was like very innovative and everything and then titanium as well so very cool G-Shock model for sure 45 grams oh, man I have some titanium watches but I think the combination of the resin with the carbon fiber and the titanium and then it's being a, that it's digital I don't think it's possible to make it even lighter unless you you know ditch some of the protective coating so this thing, this thing is so cool. So if you get a chance to pick one of these up, you know, if you have a few hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks laying around and you find one, I think you're not going to regret it. I think, I think you'll be just as pleased with it as I am if you like the special materials and all the other features that this particular one has. You're definitely going to be happy with this one. So there's a quick look at it. And supposedly the, the band should last longer as opposed to breaking down like some of the other ones like these, I guess, will get brittle and break over time. Um, I haven't personally owned one long enough for that to happen or worn it enough, so supposedly this is supposed to last longer. I doubt I'm the guy to test it, so there's a quick look at it.